New details now in an iTeam exclusive. Fraudulent fees, hundreds of dollars in bills and ghost guns and COVID fraud. When Maryland's U.S. attorney prosecuted a local man for COVID fraud, what he found at the man's home changed the scope of the whole case. The iTeam's Tolly Taylor joins us now live. And Tolly, that case ended up including a weapons charge. Hey guys, yeah, what you see here, four ghost guns, uh, body armor, ammunition, that's just some of what federal investigators found after searching Jerry Phillips' home here in Maryland. And the U.S. Attorney's Office says that discovery was only possible because of the prosecution for COVID fraud. In August, Maryland U.S. Attorney Eric Barron told the I-Team that the drop in homicides and non-fatal shootings in Baltimore was partly due to his office prosecuting COVID fraud. Uh, we think this pandemic fraud strategy uh, is contributing to a drop in violent crime. Really? How yes. so? By getting violent criminals off our streets by any legal means necessary, including fraud. Now the I-Team has obtained a concrete example of how prosecuting COVID fraud led to getting illegal guns off the streets. Meet Jerry Phillips, seen here with the same photo on driver's licenses from five different states, each time with a different name. How many criminal charges has your office brought since the pandemic began? Oh, it's been dozens of criminal charges. One of those dozen criminal charges was Phillips in December 2021. Phillips did the same thing with debit cards, American Express cards, and Social Security cards, using them to file fraudulent PPP loans and unemployment insurance benefit claims to the tune of more than $1.2 million. Barron's office was able to trace Phillips' activity online using his computer's identifying number. Barron says examples like Phillips are just scratching the surface of COVID fraud nationwide. Well, there's been wide ranging estimates, uh, usually in the billions, um, but we know it's a lot. When members of Barron's office and other federal partners searched Phillips' home, they found these three guns and a fourth illegally modified into a machine gun. All of them, Phillips purchased online using an alias and all of them ghost guns which lack a serial number, making them harder for law enforcement to track and connect to crimes. Jerry Phillips was sentenced to seven years in federal prison for COVID fraud and for the illegal machine gun modification. And so that's why uh, you know, COVID fraud uh, is, a, is a big priority for us. And Barron says that if you think you've been a victim of COVID fraud or you've witnessed it, to contact his office. You can find our exclusive interview with Maryland's U.S. Attorney about COVID fraud right now on the WBAL-TV app. For the 11 News I-Team, I'm Tolly Taylor.